So I recently received a comment with regards to showing my midriff area and my belly button piercing. Is there an age limit as to when we can or cannot show parts of our body? Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andre. Today we shall be discussing my style as to should we or shouldn't we be showing parts of our bodies. I am 59 year old Andre, which means I'm a year away from 60 and I kind of like to show my midriff. Should I? <laughs> okay, before we get into my style and should we or shouldn't we be wearing certain things at whatever age, I just want to say, right, I'm going to put it right out there. I don't feel 59 years old. I don't know what a 59 year old person is supposed to feel like. All I know is how I feel. I certainly don't see an old woman when I look at my reflection in the mirror. I haven't reached that age yet. I don't feel as if my body is of an old woman's body yet. So I don't really understand why I feel I'm even making this video actually. I was honestly, I was taken quite aback that I have somebody kind of went commented on the fact that I'm showing my midriff. I feel what I wear is very respectful of me, of how I feel comfortable. I'm going to read you the comment because the comment I received was under no circumstances a negative comment it was a positive comment but nonetheless it was pointed out if you know what i mean and i was like oh is it not the done thing to do that because for me what i wear is what makes me feel comfortable i would not wear anything that made me feel uncomfortable Okay, let's read the comment so we know how this video came about. I have clothes here and I will be discussing my style and how I like to put things together. But first of all, let's read the comment. So the comment went like this and it was on a video where I was uh, talking about my Palm Springs Mini. I'll insert photographs and we video shots wherever I can when I'm discussing whatever I'm discussing. <laughs> so the comment went like this and it came from at RVSS342 and she says, I love this bag. Thank you so much for the tutorial. Also, I love your outfit. It's such a conservative but kind of flirty bit of midriff. Can you do a video all about how you style and show midriff and your belly ring, especially being mature? It's so cute and classy. So that was one comment. And then just more recently, I received another comment which went like this. And this came from at Jules Quinn 7668. I love that you have your belly pierced and aren't afraid to show it. Now, I'm over 50, I always keep mine covered up, but why should I? And why should you indeed? Why are you covering it up? On that subject, let's touch on belly button piercings first of all. Now, when I originally had mine done, it was years and years ago before it was really fashionable to get them done with. It, it's now the norm to have your belly button pierced. And I hid it away for a long time. I like, obviously my husband knew about it and my mum knew about it. And then when we went on holiday, my dad kind of reacted to it because I, I was covering it up. Listen, when I went to Cyprus on holiday and exposed my piercing, people look at you as if you're a woman of the street, let's say. 
at that time, at that time, obviously things have moved on. I would say it's roughly 30 years since I've had my belly button pierced and I absolutely loved it. And it came about because I kept saying to Rico, I was married at the time, I kept saying to her, I would love to get my belly button pierced. And where I was going to get my bits and pieces waxed and whatever at the time, going back years, I was like, oh, so-and-so's got, and I would love. So he actually phoned them up, asked them, <laughs> you know, where did you get your belly button pierced? Because my wife is, they obviously explained he was married to me and he wanted to get me a voucher. And that's how I ended up getting my belly button piece and when I tell you I absolutely loved it and I went with my mum. My mum came up and I said I've got a voucher I'm gonna go and get it done. My mum was all for it. She was right there by my side even though for a Greek married woman it wasn't the done thing. People! <laughs> and honestly I absolutely loved it. I think it was my kind of first sort of real rebellious thing like I'm a Greek girl and I'm getting my belly button pierced <laughs> and my mum's going with it. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll, I'll see how it brings a smile to my face. So I'm very proud of it now. Now I'm at a stage of my life where I really don't care what other people think. So I show my belly button piercing when appropriate. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to go to church showing my belly button piercing. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's part of me as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so go for it. Go for it. Go for your belly button piercings. I even got a, a tattoo as well in my more advanced years. I'm considering my second one. I'm just trying to kind of book the right person because I want a very thin type of tattoo and I would like it at the back coming kind of down here not all the way at the back but yeah I, I'm doing the things people I want to do them it's, it's my life it's my life and I do what I like and I honestly like I said I do not feel like an old woman at all you know i'm not going to keep repeating the same things i still feel very young at 59 so there you go so showing my midriff i i was like oh people are looking at me and thinking good on you but why why is why is it being commented on and i'm like is it not the done thing look for me, style is feeling comfortable. I feel comfortable showing my midriff. I'm not gonna wear it, there, there's a certain, for me to feel comfortable, there's a certain how much high I would go. And with what I would wear, I'm not gonna wear like a really pair of tight jeans that are tight around the waist that are gonna ooze as everything out and wear a, a tight short top that's not my style and I'm not going to feel comfortable wearing that. I'm going to stand up. I am now wearing a loose pair of jeans which actually are very new to me because it's not something that I would have normally worn but I'm loving this style of jeans. They're a very recent pair of jeans from Zara. I think I've showed them on recent videos and I'm going to stand up because I am wearing a shorter top. Not only am I wearing a shorter top, as you can see, it's kind of see-through. So I've been sitting down so you might see lines and things because I've been sitting down. So look, I am 59. I am wearing a see-through top. I am showing midriff, but the, the bottom of my jeans are really quite baggy. They're not emphasizing anything at the bottom. Let's try and tilt this down. There we go. So I'm not, not everything's really loose down here. There we go. But obviously this has moved up. Now this actually is it just, you know, it shows it's when you're moving about that you kind of see things. Would I wear this outfit out? Absolutely. I have no problem at 59 wearing this sheer top, okay, with a bralette underneath and a pair of baggy jeans. That's, oh, I was cutting myself off there, people. Hold on. 
that's how I would wear a shorter top. Before I show you my style, let's discuss what my style is. And I'm going to go back to the comment where it says, it's such a conservative but kind of flirty bit of midriff. And that's exactly, I think, my style. There will be a bit of flirtiness in my style. And I do like a classic style. I do tend to go for a classic style. And it's all about, like I said earlier on, you know, the items that you wear being appropriate for the occasion, okay? So this is like everyday wear for me. And right, let's get on to the style. So uh, let me show you what I've got hanging here. And like I said, anywhere that it's possible, I will I will show footage. For example, I still at 59 will wear shorts. I have shorts for the colder months and I have shorts for the summer months. And the way I wear the shorts in the colder months and the way I wear shorts in the summer months are totally different. So for example, if I were to wear shorts in the colder months, and skorts, shorts, skorts, short skirts in the colder months, there will be a thick pair of black tights. I'm not going to show leg with them. I have had comments of mutton dresses lamb when I've posted a picture, which I will insert, of me wearing a skirt, which is like a skirt in the front but a pair of shorts at the back. But I was wearing a pair of tights with that skirt that were as thick as a pair of leggings, okay? If I had worn a pair of leggings, I would have shown more of my body's outline than wearing the skirt with the thick pair of tights. But because they were short, because it looked like a short skirt, I was mutton dressed as lamb. But that's okay because that's that person's opinion. It's not my opinion. I thought I looked fabulous. Just saying. And that's, again, what it's about. If you feel good in what you're wearing, go for it. Go for it, absolutely. Okay, so in the summer, I do wear shorts. Again, I will insert a photograph. I'll wear short shorts. Bare-legged short shorts tight top it's the summer that's what you do in the summer i don't have any problem with that but again i wouldn't wear that going into aldi's for example do you know what i mean unless you know i was running in there quickly for something i don't know you know there's a time and a place and how you feel comfortable and where you feel comfortable wearing it do i still wear a bikini at 59 yes I absolutely do I feel more comfortable wearing a bikini than I do a swimming costume would I wear a bikini going to the local swimming baths no I would wear a swimming costume I wear a bikini when I'm on holiday at the beach do you see that do you see where I'm going here there's a time there's a place and to me that's what makes it appropriate okay but again it's whatever you the individual feels comfortable with okay let's go over to the clothes so we can chat through how I wear things and my style okay here we are so this is what I have on today like I said no I would like I was saying how I would wear certain things with other things I wouldn't wear these let's bend you down these baggy jeans with a big jumper on the top this is not my style this might look good for some people but this I just wouldn't do this I wouldn't even do this, whatever it's called, the French tuck and all of that and trying to look. This is not my style. <laughs> now, I don't have many baggy jeans in my wardrobe. I only have these, which are a recent pair. 
and I have these which I've had for a very very long time I've never really been into baggy jeans at all baggy jeans don't complement my shape let's say but I like these ones and I've loved these ones that I've had these are kind of low rise or lower than these would be if I wore a belt with these they would be a lot higher I like them loose because they're a loose jean and I like that effect here because I don't want them tight squeezing everything out so these are another loose pair but like I said they're a low rise so with these what I would wear would be a bodysuit so you've got the tight bodysuit which shows your body kind of on the top and then you go into the baggy jeans at the bottom that is the only way I would be wearing a pair of baggy jeans and with these because they're kind of more of a high-rise jean I bring out the crop tops or just kind of sit in here showing just a little bit of flirty midriff okay Going on to a denim skirt, now for a long time for me, denim skirts could be quite mumsy and yes, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, but I'm not into that stage of fashion yet where I want to feel mumsy, as you can tell. So the way I would wear this denim skirt, because it doesn't have a split or anything in the front, the split is at the back now to make this flirty but still quite classic i would add again a cropped top with this i thought i brought it yes there we go i would add a cropped jumper or a cropped top with it now if i had if it was in the winter months it wouldn't be a winter it would be more autumn but i'm still not quite wearing tights i would wear a pair of boots with this and a cropped jumper and again you're getting the bare leg showing at the back but again this is tight fitting a crop more of a cropped looser top I would say on the top and that's how I would put that together I wouldn't be wearing a blouse with this I wouldn't be wearing a long jumper or a cardigan with that that would make it mumsy to me okay now here we have quite a conservative dress it's a velvet dress it's all closed everywhere so with this what i would do with this add a pair of thick dark tights but it's a short dress pair of high heels again classic but flirty are we getting the drift of my style now next item i have here is a long dress it is closed everywhere people it is closed and it is long okay but it is a figure hugging and it has a split right up people and again classic but flirty so it's hugging the figure it's showing a bit of like but everywhere it is closed and with this style again i would wear a boot with this not so much uh, a shoe but more of a boot so you can dress it up dress it down this is my style now let's go into jumpsuits which is another favorite of mine and i have quite a few of but they've, they've always got a bit of a twist to them when I wear them. So I kind of got one out that looks really boring when you just look at it. It's straight up and down. But when you look at it closely, it has this chiffon kind of see-through panelling all the way down to the front here. And then at the back, it is open. There is nothing sexier, people, than showing your back <laughs> and it opens up here as you're moving it's showing your back here but everywhere else it's just a long black jumpsuit so that is my exact style i like to add classic with flirty high street with high end that that is i like to mix and match 
Do I wear big baggy jumpers? Yes, I do. Big long baggy jumpers, but I'm gonna have a tight pair of leggings at the bottom of them. Do I wear oversized blazers? No, it's not my style. I have tried, and I know a lot of people pull them off and they look really cool wearing an oversized blazer. No, that is not my style. I like a fitted jacket. I like a Bowman blazer. I, but uh, people, when you put on a Bowman blazer, it's just, I love it. I, that is my style. Bowman blazer, a little, a little bit of Chanel hanging off your shoulder, people, whatever, whatever bag it is, you know, a nice boot, a nice legging, tight legging, tight pair of jeans. I love that look as well. I know sometimes they don't put tight, tight, tight. It's just the way you put things together. I like, like I said, all along this video classic and flirty not boring I don't I'm not at that stage where I feel I need to cover everything up I'm just you know I'm just not at that stage yeah I, I don't look at myself and feel I need to be covering myself up maybe I'll get to that point I don't honestly think so because even when I look back at my mum's style fashion sense very different to mine now but for her at that point of that whatever stage she was at i think she was probably more fashionable than most as well and again this is not this is not being fashionable this is my style and it's what makes me feel good it's when I look in the mirror and I like what I see. And I'm not embarrassed to say, do you know what? I like what I see in the mirror. And, you know, when I wore, when I got these baggy jeans, which are the only jeans that I have in this style in my wardrobe, I was like, I like these. But there's something about the cut about these that I like, apart from them being so so comfortable again I wouldn't tighten them with a belt and make them you know like I said the way I would wear these jeans are very different to how I would wear a really tight fitting pair of jeans I think now I've made it quite clear what my style is so what I'm going to say to you is if you feel comfortable if you want to do it do it if you feel somebody's going to judge you about what you're wearing, about your piercings, your tattoos, how short your skirt or t-shirt is, it's their problem. As long as you look at your reflection and you feel good and comfortable, then go for it. That's what I'm going to say to you. I did at one point, and those of you that have been with me for a while, will remember this started changing my style when I kind of first hit the menopause and I was struggling with weight gain never really been kind of overweight or anything like that but I didn't feel comfortable and the way I looked in my tight fitting flirty style that, that I was always used to I didn't feel comfortable and I started kind of buying bigger looser clothes to adapt to how I was feeling within myself to make myself feel more comfortable to make the best of my body at that time that I felt comfortable with and again that's what I'm going back to you need to feel comfortable with what you're wearing if you look in that mirror and you say girl you look good you're looking good okay because that's that's gonna overflow to everybody else when you're feeling good everybody else is gonna think you're good and those that don't that's their problem that is honestly their problem and not yours and don't worry about it so I hope I have answered your questions about my style and how I feel about clothes and showing my midriff midriff 
<laughs> which I've never ever thought about but yeah I just like to say thank you for your questions thank you for your comments they have been amazing thank you for giving me this video if you would like to see any more videos from me as always I shall link one here and here and if you're not already subscribed I would really appreciate it so I shall place an A right here to make it easy for you thank you and don't forget your thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye